Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's episode, I want to take a look at the new streaming feature within Reddit. It's called RPAN, so it's the Reddit Public Access Network. Uh, the cool thing about it is you can stream on your phone like many other platforms, but you can also stream with it using RPAN Studio, which is a port of the OBS platform. So let's go ahead and jump into it and see how it works. So uh, I have the link copied here. I'm just gonna open up a browser. I'll also leave that in the description so you don't have to dig around for it. And whether you're on Mac or Windows, you can download the same version. There's also a quick start guide. You can check that out. Since I'm on Mac, I'm gonna go ahead and download this one here. I'm gonna save it to my downloads folder. All right, let's go ahead and launch it. Now the nice thing about this is that the tutorial is the same uh, once you've already have it installed obviously on Windows the functionality of OBS is pretty universal whether you're on Windows or Mac or Linux for that matter although I'm not sure if our band studio is available for Linux yet so here it is you can see the icon here uh, it's a RPAN a reddit public access network let's go ahead and double click on it see what it looks like and it says, are you sure you want to open this? It was downloaded from an unknown source. Uh, if you have Gatekeeper enabled on your computer, uh, double clicking on it won't open because it's technically not from an authorized developer. What you'll want to do is hold down the control key on your keyboard, which will do like a right click. So hold down control, click, and then uh, click on open. This will actually bypass your Gatekeeper and let you uh, open the application anyway. Uh, you might get a warning here saying, hey, do you want to allow notifications? I'm going to say, nope, I don't want to allow. All right, so right off the bat, you can see that the uh, standard size here is the size of like a, a phone screen. And this is intentional. You don't really want to screw with this because if you do, it's going to make viewing for someone, let's say that's watching you on mobile, really difficult. And everything will be cropped out and out of place. So don't mess with the sort of orientation here of this um, window here. I'm going to go into settings and let's just take a look at what uh, they have for video here. So for the video, it's 480 by 854. If you do decide to, you know, mess with the uh, resolution, if you want to make it bigger or larger or just experiment, make sure to bring it back to this when you actually go live so that uh, people can see what you're doing. All right, uh, next we'll take a look at the output. So this is the bit rate that they have by uh, default. And this is good so that you can actually uh, support the most bandwidths. So if somebody doesn't have a good cell reception, you'll still be able to uh, stream successfully without having too much jitter and kind of uh, loss of quality. So, uh, you can experiment and try to bump this up and go higher, but uh, I already streamed once or twice on this, and uh, that setting seems to work fine. All right, uh, at that point, you'll want to add some uh, video sources. So, for example, if you have uh, another camera, or like I have uh, multiple cameras, one, one is on my Mac, one is on my webcam, and you want to have them fit inside of this frame, one thing that I did learn though is that when you do have your uh, camera, so let's say I want to add a video capture source. I'm going to hit the little plus there. All right, we'll click OK. And I'm going to choose my FaceTime camera. I'll say OK. All right, there it is. So as you can see, the resolution of the camera is much different from the resolution of the actual stream. So at that point, you want to kind of size it and work it to make sure that you have. Uh, your image within the bounding boxes. And I found that if you have very precise uh, like text around your edges, it tends to get cut off. So you wanna shrink it even a little more so you have a good kind of fit into the screen so that you don't have any clipping happening. So uh, give, give yourself some room to work with and shrink it as much as you can. Uh, since you're gonna have this black area down here, uh, some people choose to add uh, text, some people choose to add information about the stream. That's up to you. Uh, if you can get creative, if you can find a way to flip the camera 
vertically, that's already uh, getting a little more advanced. I just kind of wanted to take a look at the, you know, more basic features of this and show you how, how it works. On the right hand side here, you're going to have your chat. So uh, once your stream obviously starts and you go to start streaming, you'll be able to um, uh, see people commenting and talking. You also get a stream status here. Uh, you'll want to sign in with your uh, Reddit account. Once you're signed in, you'll be asked for your password and essentially it'll be like what you're used to. So like once you click start streaming, it's going to ask you, hey, what um, what's the title of your stream? What subreddit do you want to stream to? You can see there's already a preset list. Not all subreddits have the ability to stream just yet. So uh, just be aware of that. You want to make sure you're in the right stream for you. You're in the right subreddit for what you're streaming. Otherwise, you're going to get booted and you're video is going to get taken down. So just be aware of that. All right. And then once you picked it, you'll click uh, start stream and you'll sign in with your um, Reddit name and password. Uh, there are some restrictions to very new users. So I think you have to have uh, at least a few days of, uh, I think 10 days or something like that of being on Reddit before they'll actually let you stream on it. So you'll know if you get declined, uh, but I think that, you know, this is a platform that they want expanding, so you shouldn't have too much trouble with it. But that pretty much sums it up. I just wanted to give a quick roundup of this uh, software here. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Thank you. I hope to see you next time.